Hi, welcome back to OTH Inside. Now, the big news heating up the internet this week is that just a few weeks after Hillary Burton posted her online video about whether she was or was not coming back to OTH next season, Chad Michael Murray can be seen in a fan video this week on YouTube talking about how he may not be back next season. Now, he blames the network, saying they don't want to pay him enough money, and he asked fans to go online and sort of uh, rally in support of him. Now, is this just a ploy to get more money? Is he just explaining to fans, frankly, why he won't be coming back? That's up to you to decide. You can see that video on YouTube or at our site at starnewsonline.com slash One Tree Hill. Now, before we get to anything else, let's talk about what happened last night. Well, there were a lot of farewells on One Tree Hill last night. You know, Lucas said goodbye to his movie and to guest star James Vanderbeek. Um, Deb and Skills had to break up, unfortunately, and Brooke said goodbye to Julian, at least for now. Also, Haley said goodbye to her teaching career, again for now, although it looks like in um, upcoming episodes that might change back. But I'm sorry, can we talk about the dog eating Dan's heart for a second? Now, come on, this is a show that had an axe-wielding nanny chasing people through a cornfield. We're used to out-of-control behavior on this show, but if you missed last night, here's sort of the setup. Dan had gotten, uh, his pager had gone off saying that he was... Uh, in line to get a new heart. He showed up at the hospital. He's sitting in the waiting room. Then in walks this stoner who says that his dog had eaten his stash of drugs and he had brought his dog into the hospital to see if they could help. The receptionist told him to take a seat and that she would call a veterinarian. Dan's petting the dog. In rush the paramedics, carrying a cooler with Dan's heart in it. They trip over the leash. The cooler hits the floor. The heart skids across the floor and the dog eats it. Now, the dog was on drugs. I'm sure he had the munchies, but come on, people. That's a little extreme even for this show. What did you think of this? Was it a jump the shark moment? Was it just in line with how crazy this show can be sometimes? Let us know. Send us an email to starnewsothinside at gmail.com. While preparing video for OTH Inside, we run across fans from all over the world who come to Wilmington on the chance that they might meet or at least see some of the stars from One Tree Hill. Well, Tina Sorensen from Norway will win the prize, if there were any, for most distant fans so far. So what's on the mind of a Norwegian One Tree Hill fan? Well, we asked her while she was watching filming at Close Over Bros downtown, and here's what she had to say. So you're from Norway? Yes. How did you find out about Wilmington and One Tree Hill filming? Um, because they uh, have the show in Norway, so it's really big in Norway. So we just um, we actually work in Orlando. Me and my friend we work in Disney World, so uh, we thought uh, we'd just do a road trip up here and uh, see all the places that's in the show, the houses and clothes of the bros and everything. Cool. So you came here just for One Tree Hill? Yeah. Great. And what do you do at Disneyland, Disney World? Uh, Epcot, the Norway Pavilion. Okay. Great. Yeah. So what do you think about Wilmington so far, the city? Oh, I love it. It's really, really nice and it's cozy, and I would just love it. It's really, really nice. Oh, yeah. How much filming have you been able to see so far? Uh, we saw uh, Jamie's school yesterday, a little bit, and then we went to um, the basketball court and saw Nathan and Jamie and Skills. Okay. So now we're going to stay here. Good. Did you get to talk to any of those guys? We just yeah. looked at them. Nathan there? came over and Skills and Jamie, too. Yeah. They're, they're pretty approachable. Oh yeah, very. I, I was uh, like uh, positively surprised because yeah, they were really nice and took pictures and yeah. Okay, great. Hey, that's all the time we have for this week. Come back next Tuesday for OTH Inside.